So what you were seeing going on here behind us is that we are we are gearing up for this uh, upcoming hot fire test uh, in a two or three weeks. And uh, we had to, to change our location for the test. And we've been running uh, at a specific place for the past year or year and a half. But this time we have to move. They're using the area for something else. So we've been down at the, uh, at the really open big space we have out in front of the big uh, old assembly hall from the shipyard. And we've um, we tried to figure out where is the power, how much power cord, extension cord do we need to, to roll out. Where can we put the audience? Which way are we gonna shoot? Uh, where is the safe? What's the safest direction to to fire? And so on, and so on. And we've been doing this before a couple of times, but uh, we just had to go take a look and make sure everything actually is what we think it is. So. Um, all is good with the power, we know how to fix that one. We have uh, water, we'll bring that for fire suppression ourselves. And uh, then the, we have a, uh, uh, an old rail from one of these huge cranes that were used on the shipyard and we can weld our test container to that one. So the engine couldn't move the test container itself, but just in case we just weld it to that rail so it's absolutely going nowhere. And then um, a row of these uh, big uh, concrete stones or uh, blocks that we use for, uh, for uh, as an extra barrier just to make sure that nothing goes flying that we don't intend to. And then we're basically more or less ready for, uh, for this uh, hot fire test in two or three weeks. Just need a few things to wrap up and then uh, make sure all our equipment is working. Right now people inside are spinning up the, uh, the test stand so that everything checks out before we are, we are going to fire in, uh, in say two or three weeks. But we'll keep you updated.